Let's go do some fishing. Water is a little high, but it is spring runoff, so that's not totally unexpected. We'll give this first place a shot. Try a few other areas too. If they're smart trout, they'll be holding in the slow water close to the bank, so I guess we'll see. Real slow retrieve. Oh, there we go. There's fish. Got one. Yes. <laughs> Third cast. They're pretty tight to the bank. That's kind of what I expected. I'm going to run a light drag today. Um, so they are going to be using this current to their advantage. You can tell he's already doing that, <laughs> using that current. Let me get him in here. Woo! I love river, river trout. They are just tough. And turned here. Nice fish. I think you might have me hung up on something here. Whew. Shaky, shaky, shaky. is holding the ground. I haven't seen him yet. Just got a six pound leader on, so I don't want to push it. I don't know if it's just hung up on something here, or if this is just a really big fish. I need to get a look at it. I haven't seen it yet. I first saw it flash, didn't seem that big, but I guess we'll see. It's just holding steady right here in this current, pulling, pulling, pulling. Swimming upstream here. I feel like I'm gaining on him now. Well, I haven't seen it. Where's it at? That is a strong fish or something. I cannot see it. Now this section of the river has both wild rainbows and hatchery rainbows. So it's possible I'm hooked into a big wild rainbow. There's even some steelhead that make their way up here, but they shouldn't be here yet. Let's see what we got here. I haven't seen it yet. It's got to be a giant rainbow if it's... It's holding me right here like I am gaining nothing. It's 
Still haven't seen it. I do have a net, so that's a good thing. Oh, dude, yeah, I think this thing is a giant. What is this? Holy hell, what the heck is this? This thing is huge. Oh, it's a giant bull trout. What? I didn't even know they were up here. Wow. That's crazy. I didn't even know they had these up here in the upper Willamette. If they are, I think they're extremely rare and endangered, so I gotta be really careful with this thing. Wow. That is crazy. It is a giant bull trout. I had no idea they were up here. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. Look at that. That is a huge bull trout. I'm going to keep it gills wet. Because um, they are endangered up here, I believe. Look at that fish. Whew. That is a beautiful, beautiful fish. I had no idea they were up here, though. Okay, buddy. Get you going. See ya. Whoa! That was crazy. He's probably up here trying to eat the things that I'm trying to catch, which is those little planted rainbow trout they put in here last week nutty let's see if we can actually find some rainbow trout which is what i'm after all right well, this area looks promising got a pretty little male meganser down there very attractive fish eating duck well i'm gonna try the boat ramp because oftentimes that's where they're gonna dump these hatchery fish so might as well some pretty good trouty water right there in front of me. Just gotta scramble on these rocks. I ran my half marathon two days ago, so I'm feeling pretty sore. <laughs> Feel like somebody beat my leg with sticks. <laughs> there you looks good right here. Some big boulders and swirling water in here. A good place for a lazy hatchery bow to take a break. I don't like fishing spoons straight upstream, but we have much choice. Might have to get a spinner out. Oh, there, there's one right there. Oh, came out from underneath these logs. They're up underneath these logs here. Let's see if I can just jig one out of there. Now I know one's here, right here underneath me. What I'll do is um, I'm gonna fish the spoon out out here a little bit and then I'm gonna switch up lures, come back through here with something else. That was definitely a little hatchery rainbow. He's already seen that gold spoon a couple times so I wanted to give him something different that might entice him. Figured they'd be up in this slower water here. Okay, I'm gonna change up to a spinner. Maybe a black spinner, black and pink, and uh, see if I can't pull this fish out that's right in front of me. Since it's already seen this gold. So I'm gonna switch this over real quick. Here's the spinner. I have a natural pattern. Very contrasting to what I just showed that fish. So hopefully he's dumb enough to, or sufficiently tricked by it to go for it. If this doesn't work, we'll try something else. Nothing there. What I'm trying to do is bring it in right underneath these floating logs. Kind of hard to present in there, though. Hmm. Couldn't get that one to, to work for me. 
Maybe there's a few more casts out here. I'll try something else. All right, I've got one more trick up my sleeve. If that doesn't work, then we'll move on. It might work, but I'm gonna try this little jerk bait. I can kind of fish this, like I can back this up underneath into that, underneath those logs. And this will fish better. from fishing upstream because I can just like twitch it and it'll dive. But it looks good, just not getting bit. Okay, here we go. Try and get underneath these logs without getting snagged up. Nah. Nothing came out after it. It's gonna take me those little logs. Get them out of there. Yeah, it worked. That's what we call persistence right there. Yes. Awesome. Got him. So cool. That worked. Alright. Little jerk bait got him. Alright, buddy, calm down. Pretty little fish. Awesome. See you later, buddy. Awesome, the little jerk bait did it. Just a little Suranoia. Japanese brand, but made in China. I love these little jerk baits though. They're great. Awesome. Feels pretty good when you like, you know there's a fish here, giving them a couple different presentations and you haven't had success and you just keep changing it up and you come through with a win. I mean, it's such a good feeling as an angler. Up here. This is not very good looking holding water, but we'll fish tight to the bank here. See if we can't find anything in here. I don't expect to see much, but we'll give this area a half dozen casts or so. It's a lot of debris in the river because of the fires. Super hard to fish upstream though. A little bit of a seam right here. I mean, could be a fish in there. Not expecting it to be great, but all you need is one. Nothing there. I just bring it back up really slow. If there's a fish tucked up tight to the bank, it'll give them a chance to swoop out and grab it. Basically, I'm just gonna free swing that spoon in tight to this bank here. This kind of current, you can almost back troll it. Uh, and now you just let out a little bit of line at a time and back it down the river. I jiggle it. Make it dart. Oh, there we go. Got one. <laughs> there was one tight to the bank. Check that out. That was great. Swung that in tight to that bank, boom. Got him. He was right against that brush line down there. I'll bring him over here in the slack water. There we go. Pretty little rainbow. Ooh, it's pretty. Come here, buddy. Come here, little blushy bow. Got him. 
Check that out. Awesome. That is a pretty little rainbow. Got some nice color on them. Check them out. Oh, he's pretty. Look at that pretty bow. Gorgeous. So awesome. I love river fishing. For bows, there he goes. Off the hook already. Come here, buddy. Ooh, that water is cold and you are slippery. You're chunky, though. Coming out of that hatchery with uh, some meat on you, huh? There we go. Look at that. Get it going. Awesome. Well, you know my rule. If there's one, maybe there's more. So basically I just cast straight out. I don't expect the fish to be there. I expect them to be here. But I can't cast down there because of the trees. So I'm just swinging that spoon in. I'm not even retrieving it. I just feel it thumping, 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 thumping. And then when it gets tight to the bank, I start that very slow retrieve or even pop it a little bit. And that fish came out from that bank and hammered it. And I was retrieving that thing dead slow, like barely moving. And then just cast a little farther each time. And start working way down the bank. And then you can even, when the current gets really strong out here, you can open the bale and let that spoon or whatever your lure you're carrying or fishing with and let it back even further down river to cover even further down river. Oh, there's another one. Got him. Yeah, they're stacked up down there. Nice. Oh, I think I lost him. Yeah, I did. That's okay. That was a good hit, though. Probably want to try a different lure here since I've had a couple bites now. It might be that, you know, they'll respond differently to different lure presentations. And this type of current spinner works really good, too. Back to this black and pink spinner. I'm going to do exactly the same thing I just did. I'm going to cast out and let it swing in tight to the bank. Hopefully. Pull at least one more fish out of here. I feel that thing spinning like crazy. Okay. This is a dark spinner, so I'll give this a couple casts. If I don't get any bites on it, then I'll switch up to a, like a brass spinner or a copper spinner. I can definitely feel that blade thumping. Still swinging in towards the bank. Okay, I'll start my slow retrieve. Really low light, so I don't know if they can... Oh, uh, I think I might have just hit a rock. Something flashier might be better. And get a bite there. That was another rock. Oh, there's fish. Got it. Yes. Awesome. I knew that if I switched it up, I might have a better chance. There's a bunch of them stacked up here, I think. This one feels like these fish. Because they're using that current. As soon as they hook up, they take off out into that current. Yeah, that's a nice fish. Pretty. Come here, buddy. He's pretty. He is so pretty. There you go. Got that little pink and rainbow trout pattern spinner. Really pretty fish. Hammered it. There he goes. See ya, buddy. Definitely spring runoff. See, the river is pretty much up in the willows here, pretty high. But we'll come down here and give this a shot. A little bit of slow water here that they could be hiding out in. Whatever structure was here, it looks like it burned down in the fire. I kind of expect the trout to basically be up right where I'm standing. 
Be up in these willows. Here we go. There's fish. Nice. Right where I had that bite before. Feels like a good one. Hefty. Right where I got tapped before. We can get it in. It's fighting more like uh, another bull trout, like bulldogging me. But we'll see. Oh no, it's just a really nice rainbow. Beautiful, beautiful rainbow, guys. Holy smokes. And get this thing in. Wow, this thing is like picture perfect rainbow. This is one of the wild fish. Oh my god, wow, guys, look at that. Stunning. Stunning. I get out of the current so I can handle this a little bit easier. Keep her gills wet. You guys, look at that rainbow. Holy smokes. There we go, look at that rainbow, guys. Woo. That is a very, very pretty fish. Perfect, perfect fish. Let's get this beautiful fish going. There it goes. See you later. Hey, man, that was fun. Let's get some more. Having a great day so far. I basically just had that spoon just free, free swinging like I'm doing right now, where I just cast out in the current and swing it down. I was hoping to get down in here to where I think There'll be some fish tucked up in the slower water. That one was actually more out on that seam where the fast water meets the slow water. Oof, there's a fish went for it. I just saw it. Just saw a fish go for it. They backed off right in the last second. So I know there's some fish out here. They're just not wanting to go for that little fish. So maybe I'll switch up to something different. All right, what are we gonna try? To my trusty gold spoon. This will be my last stop of the day. So I'd rather end it with a fish or at least trying with my confidence lure. So, give this a shot. Oh, that was a fish. Went for it right there. Dang it one right there. It's the second time he's gone for something I've thrown out there. Hmm, how am I going to catch this guy? It's right in front of me. Alright, so there's a little red crayfish imitation. It's a square bill, so it'll bounce off of wood and the rocks and stuff and hopefully won't snag up. It's kind of a radical idea, kind of crazy, but sometimes crazy's good. Sometimes crazy can be successful, but most of the time it's just crazy. All right, there's a trout out here that's swiped at everything I've thrown at him. I've not got him to bite at it. So we'll try this. If that doesn't make it happen, well then that's, that's okay. I've had a really good day. I started out the day with that huge bull trout which just totally caught me by surprise and then I probably caught like a half dozen uh, hatchery rainbows and then I caught that beautiful wild rainbow that's been a really good day oh there he is I got him <laughs> I finally got him right where he's been sitting I got him on this little crankbait you believe that it actually worked. <laughs> That's awesome. I knew he was not a very big fish, but it's cool to finally make that happen. He's a pretty one, though. Yeah. He's got some good colors on him. <laughs> All right. What a cool way to end the day, getting them on that crankbait. Come here, buddy. You're pretty, boo. All right, get up for my legs. There you go. 
Cool. Got himself unwrapped. It's great. Look at that pretty he is. He's got, look at these colors on him. Now it's a hatchery fish. Look at that spotting. All right, what an awesome way to end the day. Love being out here on the river. I'll see you guys next time. And just remember, fish smarter, not harder. Bye.